Welcome back to another Mind Test mod review. Today we are looking at the Laser Distance Meter 32 mod, or as it's a little more easily abbreviated to, LDM of 32. And as you can see, it adds a laser distance meter. Quite fitting for the mod name. Um, and the reason for the 32, because maximum distance it will measure out to is 32 nodes. So, Let's just take a quick peek see at how this works. So it can be toggled on and off by right clicking. And if I position myself, there we go. A little easier to see. Um, gives you some info text saying off in the upper left corner. And when it's turned on, it says distance 19 meters. So there are 19 spaces from this node to this block here it does not count this block and it does not count the block that the the LDM is sitting on so it's the open spaces between this and an obstacle and if I take this block out and give it a couple seconds it'll shoot the line till it hits a uh, hits a solid object and if we come back here and take a look it'll tell us out of range there we go a little easier to see that because it is more than 32 nodes away and the neat part is if I put this back all those uh, the laser line I guess we can call it disappears from beyond that and when we run back to the LDM here it now tells us the distance is 19 you can break this with a pickaxe um, I don't know if you have to Use a pickaxe, it might work with an axe or a sword as well, but you can't break it by hand. And yeah, we can throw it out here and find out that there is six spaces from this node to this node, six open spaces, so it would be seven nodes to the butt end of the LDM here. And uh, I should mention it just it places in the direction you're facing. So if I put it there, it'll go there. And uh, it'll go there. And the laser light actually does light up a little bit. Um, so if we throw it, I'm going to put it right here. We'll turn it on. And let's go ahead and change the time to, oh, I don't know, 1,000. You can see there it's, uh, oh, I didn't even realize it did that. It also uh, kind of gives this effect when you're standing in the light. That's interesting. I'm not sure why it's stopping there. Distance is out of range. Oh, it might just have a maximum that it'll reach out to. Well, let's put a little pedestal at the end of this. I'm assuming if we put something right here, it'll report back that it is either 31 or 32 spaces. I'm not sure which. 31, all right. So it'll give you, it'll shoot a line out to 32 nodes away. So I wonder if I put a node behind this, is it still going to say out of range, or will it report 32? Because technically, it's not out of range now. And, but see, that's exactly 32 nodes away. Um, but yeah, that's, uh, that's honestly about it. It's great for doing uh, big builds, obviously. So you don't have to count off all of your spacing. Um, this little example here obviously is quite flawed because it's uh, in a little five grid. So it, you really would never need something like this to tell what your three open spaces are. Um, and for doing something, let's say you're doing, I don't know, say you're building a giant temple or something, which is kind of what uh, this outline here is for. Not that I'm actually building one, but for the, for the sake of the video. Um, so you can see like how far between your pillars are. So if I take this out of here, 
And we, whoops, pop it right here. This is 19 nodes, which means it's 20 nodes from that pillar to this pillar. So we could go, say, there. And that gives me five nodes. So it's actually six spaces. So then I could run over here. Um, and it, it's kind of stupid to even actually shoot the line, but whatever. Um, one, two, three, four, five. So I think that's here. Let's see what this says. Uh, five. Yep, that's right. So those are lined up. So then we grab this, run to the tail end. Um and have to dig some stuff out of the way it looks like. Pop the laser down, turn it on. And yeah, this dirt's gonna be in the way. <clears throat> Let's see what we're looking at. It says six, which is great, because then I can put that here. Um You know you would probably want to get rid of the dirt too, but meh. Eh. I don't have time for that right now. Alright, so let's just continue this here line along. Alright, alright. We'll hop up here. Do that. I should have counted, but we'll try this. Three. <laughs> yeah, let's try a little more. Like that. Hey, it's five. And now that means that this pillar and that pillar should be perfectly in line. So to, oh, actually, you know what? I'm an idiot. To verify that they're in line, let's just use the LDM. Because why not? So what we can do is just pop it right here, turn it on, and that should shoot right on top of this pillar. And it does. So this actually opens up a world of possibilities I hadn't even thought of previously. So say for example, um, well what we're going to have to do is put a block here because if I put this on the snow, um, the snow gets in the way of the laser. So I can't do that. But I can throw it on here and that just shot me a straight line. So I can run along. Na -na 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 and I can just be like, yeah, we're just going to throw a block here. And because we just want to have a straight line, it doesn't really matter where these blocks are distance-wise. We just want them to be in a row. Um, I don't know, say maybe we're making a, a road or something. Uh, and eventually it'll all be filled in, but we're just putting some, like, temporary markers in place. So we kind of know where the road's supposed to be or something. You know, so we can do that and just have a straight line. Or say we're building a bridge from something to something, which I don't know if I have anything decent around here to really demo this with. Um, no, not really, but I guess the closest thing would be like this. Um, yeah, so we could start, be like, okay, well, we're going to throw some some shoring on this side. And we're not really sure what the bridge is going to look like, but we're going to start from both ends and meet in the center. So then we cross over the chasm, however we're crossing over it, um, by some other means, obviously. And we're like, okay, well, we know that's the height of this, and this is the center. So then we can do our little abutment. I think it's called an abutment. Um, I, I could be incorrect. All right, so we've got our little doodah thing there. And now we know these are both perfectly aligned with each other. They're both the same height. So when we build our bridge across, everything will line up. Um, yeah, so that's another use for it that, uh, that could come in handy if you are building really big things and you're sick and tired of walking back and forth to count spaces and make sure everything is lined up 
and just shoot a couple laser lines. Oh, you know what? I never did, uh, never did tell you how to make this thing. So, first things first, obviously you have to download and install and enable the mod. Duh, that goes without saying. But to craft it, you need uh, any piece of wood, some great eye, a meese crystal, and three steel ingots. And you will get a, it's called a spirit level, but uh, it doesn't tell you anything level at all. So I'm not really sure why that's its name, but uh, you know, that's fine. It's a very nice looking model. Very nice, very nice, very nice. It's got the nice little uh, incrementation marks, which unfortunately don't actually line up to anything. I mean, not that it's a big deal, but they like they don't match up to pixels. Like, there's a there's a bit of a difference there. I mean, it's just for looks, so it doesn't matter. And if you really wanted, you could make your own texture for it. Um, but yeah, that is going to wrap this video up. So there you have it, the Laser Distance Meter 32 mod for Mind Test. Links on my website, which is linked in the video description. Tune in next week for another mod review. And I'll see you then.